These are strange inventions we didn't know we needed. In 2021, a prototype of Taste the TV or TTTV was tested in Japan. TTTV. After telling the device what you want to taste, it plays video of the food while it whips up a concoction of liquids to strike just the right flavor balance. Then it sprays it on the screen to be licked off. TTTV is the brainchild of a college professor who said the COVID-19 pandemic created a demand for many experiences to be enjoyed at home, like trying new foods. In January of 2024, when this yellow sports car wouldn't stop, a high-tech device deployed to bring the high-speed chase to a screeching halt. It activates under the rear tire and wraps around the tire of fleeing vehicles to stop all forward motion. The device, being introduced by police departments everywhere, was invented by a roofer with zero law enforcement experience. Leonard Stock had the idea after watching a high-speed chase on TV. As I was watching it, I was just cringing when I would see that happen. I hope that lives are being saved. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Here's how it works. As the net is unfurled, police get as close as they can to the fleeing suspects. Then the chase ends without anyone getting injured. Some people do think that it shoots out of the police vehicle, but it actually stays attached to the grappler unit and is directed into the tire. Brody Moreland was born with spina bifida, which left him partially paralyzed. In 2019, Brody had trouble crawling until his dad came up with a cool way for him to get around. <laughs> Taylor Moreland called his invention the frog. Taylor has no formal training in engineering, just a passion for helping kids. It took a little trial and error for Taylor to hone his design and for Brody to learn how to use it. But soon enough, Brody was on the go. When Brody's physical therapist suggested the frog might help other kids, Taylor stepped up to help. Really excited to find other kiddos who can benefit from it hopefully change their lives the way it's changed for us. My name is Ella Cassano and I invented the Medi Teddy. In 2019, Ella wanted to make the hospital a little less scary for kids like her. Since second grade, I've had to get IVs every six to eight weeks. And the most intimidating thing for me, especially during my first few IVs, was the big bag of medicine. She noticed the other children around her also didn't like the look of the big IV bag hovering over their heads. So she wanted her IV bag to have a friendly face. I came up with the idea for my fifth grade invention convention, which is also when I made the first prototype. By I just took a stuffed animal that I had in the house and I cut out the back. And then in sixth and seventh grade, I worked on developing a business plan and then actually turning it into um, a business in school. She called her invention the Medi Teddy. The stuffed animal covering the IV bag made treatments less scary. We are working really hard with some really smart people to, um, you know, kind of solve that and figure out how we can get as many as possible to as many people as possible. In 2024, researchers at the University of Oxford tested how dangerous robotic lawnmowers were to the hedgehog population. According to Dr. Sophie Lund Rasmussen, up to 75% of hedgehogs have disappeared from rural areas. Their population is dwindling from losing their habitat and all the dangers humans can pose. That includes lawnmowers. Dr. Rasmussen, aka Dr. Hedgehog, and her team created a 3D printed crash test dummy for the manufacturers of robotic lawnmowers to use in their testing phase. Safety tests that are standardized across the industry, plus a labeling system that will show consumers how their lawnmower's rate in animal well-being are a start. Dr. Rasmussen hopes technology will eventually develop a robotic lawnmower that recognizes the hedgehog at a distance so that it never comes into contact with the hedgehog and then changes directions. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.